everybody. Um, it's me, Mrs. Hansen. And today I'm going to show you how to make this darling bear. You can see the bear has a sweet little face and a nice wintry sweater. And it really is fun and quite easy to make. Now this project is all about texture. Creating the texture of fur on our bear. And it turns out to create texture, we can use line. And when we repeat line, we get texture. All right, so for this project, this is what you're going to need. White paper, a pencil, black Sharpie, and markers. And you don't have to use markers. You can use crayons. You could use watercolors. You could use oil pastels or you could use a combination of all of those things. All right, let's get started. So our first step is to make sure our paper is up and down or portrait, all right? And we're gonna start with the bear's neck. So that's just gonna be a little curved line in the middle of your paper, just like that. You don't want it too small because neck uh, bears have big wide necks, right? So you want it nice and big and almost to the edge, all right? Next, we're gonna add the bear's shoulders. And so we're just gonna go to the top of the neck and make a gentle curved line down on both sides, all right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now let's tackle this little bear, sweet bear's face. So we want a nice big head, right? But we need to leave room for ears. So I'm going to make a nice big head. And I like it to go out a little bit from the shoulders. So I'm gonna fix that up a little bit. You know, Sometimes it's nice just to use your finger to get this shape before you draw. I should have done that. Okay, there we go. I can live with that. Now let's add the ears. That's easy, they're just rainbow shapes. So bear's ears are more on the top of the head than the side, right? Those are monkeys and otters that have them on the side. Bears are more like cats a little bit. And you can think about what kind of bear is this gonna be? Polar bear or a brown bear? Just go ahead and add two more rainbows for the inner ear, all right? Remember, you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. Next, we're just gonna do two plain circles for eyes. We're not gonna do fancy eyes with this. I know so many kids love to do those fancy anime eyes. I suppose you could if you really wanted to, but this project just needs little ones. All right, let's do the bear's muzzle. And the bear's muzzle is the part that sticks out with the nose on the end. So we're gonna start the muzzle with a rainbow shape, just like this, okay? And now we're gonna turn this muzzle into an avocado. I know, silly. You probably never know, knew that bears have avocado muzzles, but they do. So we're just gonna do a curved line out and it, you're gonna see it's gonna look like an avocado. All right, you got your avocados? Mine's a little crazy here. There we go. All right, next, a nose. Not up here, down in the wide part. Nice curved line. Then add a V, and you can color that in with your Sharpie later, okay? For the mouth, a little line, and then decide, do you want a serious bear? Do you want a happy bear? Do you want kind of something in between? My bear kind of looks like he's smirking at us. And then a few dots. All right. Next step is the sweater. Now this is where you can really let your creativity shine with how you decorate the sweater. 
But before we decorate, let's do some stripes and divide our sweater into three sections. So I'm just doing a very gentle curved line and then I'm gonna do another one down here. And then you can add a pattern in each of the sections. And I suggest keeping it simple. Um, but you know, I have seen kids get very detailed. I've seen snowflakes, I've seen presents. Um, what else have I seen? Squiggle lines, lightning bolts. It's really whatever you think. Maybe you have a favorite sweater for inspiration. I think I'll do hearts. And I'm just keeping it really simple for this, but you can, you know, add your own artistic flair. Maybe it's a themed sweater. Maybe it's an ugly Christmas sweater. Only you get to decide. I'm gonna do zigzags here. Okay, we did it, we drew our bear. Now, we need to Sharpie it. And I happen to have one here all Sharpied and outlined. Here we go. So when you outline with Sharpie, you wanna do the sweater, you wanna do the eyes, you wanna do the nose and the mouth, but you don't need to do the head, the muzzle, and the ears, okay? And I'll tell you about that a little later. All right, now comes the repetitive part, adding all this gorgeous fur. And I'll tell you, the more time you take and the more lines you make, the more texture you will give your bear. I'll also tell you, if you have lines going different directions, some up and down, some diagonal, it really makes the bear look interesting. So I like to start with the eyes. And I just do little stars, little lines. They end up looking like little stars. And you can see I'm leaving a little space between the pupil and the line. Yours can touch if you want, but I, don't, I just like that space. And the length of your lines is up to you. But again, the more lines you do, the more texture you're gonna get. So I'm gonna do another go around with my eyes. I suggest doing two or three, but again, it depends on the length of your lines. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, all the way around we go. All right, after that, I like to start in between and around the muzzle. And I usually start just around the muzzle like this, and I just keep going, filling it in all the way up to the top of the head. Um, I have seen some students who have gone all the way around the muzzle going this direction. And I have to say that really makes the muzzle stand out. But again, that's nothing you have to do. I'll show you some variety and variation. The important thing is to repeat the lines, to take your time and layer them. Okay, I really liked this. Then I'm gonna do another layer around and build out. After I do that, I think I'm gonna switch directions here and I'm just gonna go this direction. Now, I'm not gonna finish this because I don't want you to sit here for 10 minutes watching me draw lines. But you also wanna do the ears. You don't wanna do the inner ears, okay? Just do the outer ears. All right, when this is all filled up and beautiful, it will probably look something like this. And you can see, um, here, I did not go out around the muzzle. I went up and down, and I still think it looks good. But it can, when it goes out, the muzzle just pops a little bit more. You can see I went up this way with my lines and then out. It really looks great no matter how you do it. 
Okay, the next step and why we didn't want to outline the head with Sharpie is because we want to erase that pencil line. And this makes it look more like the edge is furry. The edge is not hard, it's not a line. So erase all of that, erase your muzzle line. And then you have this awesome looking bear. And now, if that wasn't fun enough, you get to do the amazing part of adding color to your sweater. So are you gonna do a color theme? Are you gonna do two colors? Are you gonna do three? Is it gonna be rainbow? Only you can decide. So you can use watercolors on this because we use Sharpie. That would be beautiful. You could do the background. You could do markers, whatever you like. So this one, I did watercolors and markers. And then I just use watercolor to go around. All right, have fun. And of course, send me pictures of your cute little bears. I think these are perfect for the holidays and for winter. All right, have fun. See you next time.